Overnight, the State Department released nearly 3,000 more pages of emails from Hillary Clinton's personal account. One of those emails is receiving extra scrutiny. It contains an unusual request. Here's Nancy Cordes. <laughs> Republicans argue the newly released email proves that former Secretary of State knowingly shared sensitive information on her private account. In an exchange from 2011, a top aide alerts Clinton that staffers are having issues, sending her some talking points via secure fax. Clinton responds, if they can't, turn into non-paper, in other words, an email, with no identifying heading and send non-secure. The topic and sensitivity of the talking points aren't clear. That part is redacted. Still, the Republican chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee called the exchange disturbing and called for a criminal inquiry. Late this afternoon, the Clinton campaign told CBS News it is false that Hillary Clinton asked for classified material to be sent over a non-secure system. The exchange was among 2,900 pages of Clinton's emails released by the State Department at 2 o'clock this morning. The agency said it is simply trying to keep up with an ambitious schedule established by a federal judge. Just this week, the State Department's own internal watchdog said the agency's responses to questions about Clinton's emails have been inaccurate and incomplete. State Department officials say they just don't have the resources to keep up with all the requests from the public and the media, Charlie. Thanks, Nancy.